for you, big bro. Hey, my man, how you doing right here? I got a question. You see yourself on this sign right here? Where would your dad be on that sign right here? When you look down the right of this side, or left of this side, where would you see your dad at? I see Judah. You see Judah, right? Now, what would Judah, what would they call themselves right now? American black. Well, that's what you see in your application, right? But who doesn't? Right. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you know Christ was from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man ever walked the planet Earth. Did you know that? You believe in the higher power, though. You believe in the higher power, right? So we, you got to understand this. According to the Bible, we were all put. Let me ask you this. You believe in slavery happened? Right. Slavery happened. Do you think that was a coincidence or did God show us that in the Bible? Because that's at a point in time that I thought Christ looked like this. Look at this. Put that sign up real quick. Let me show you this, bro. What do they put on TV, right? Hold this. Hold this sign. Right. They put that, they put that on TV. Now, why would they put that on TV to show our people this image? Yeah, put that sign up real quick. Why, would they, why do you think they would put, because imagery is not powerful. They know we plant this in their head at an early age, this so-called white image, every year and give them Christmas, and we will believe on that. I mean, they've been doing that. I feel like right. you know, it's, a, it's all a cycle. It's all, it's right. not even coincidence. It's right. all science, really. Right. Like. So what's your name, big bro? My name is Steven. Steven, you got some, you got, you got some understanding, right? Yeah, so I Steven, mean. so what we out here doing is showing our people the truth, right. because... Give me 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Because it, a lot of our people believe that this is Jesus Christ. Right. But that's nowhere in the Bible, right? right. And, and that was prophecy that it was going to come a person that's going to put this as Jesus the Christ. Right. And that's prophesied in the Bible. And that's what we're showing our people. The truth in history and prophecy of what happened to us as our people. Right. Because if I was to ask, that, uh, ask you, you would say I'm an African American, right? But that's not in the Bible. That's nowhere in the Bible. In fact, you call yourself two different European white men. Right. Leo Skippo Africanus and American Vest. I'm not Darius. So All right, I'm going to show you, guys. I'm going to show you this, right? The people. I don't honestly, like, the Bible, I feel like that shit was, you know, it's so much to right. people that's all Asian. Like, that's what they believe. Right. Like, they believe that shit. Right. Like, right. Like, so I feel like they were just trying to get the message out to people. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Well, okay, well, I'm going to just go through the history anyway, all right? Because we out here to show everybody, right, brother? So we show, I want you to listen to this. Listen to this. Now, I didn't know this. I was thinking just like you. I thought I was atheist, right? Because somebody showed me, look, in the Bible is your true history, prophecy. We call it prophecy. Something that God said was going to happen, then it happened, right? So you told me slavery happened. You told me it's out your own mouth, right? Say your name again. Stephen. Stephen, you told me slavery happened. So when I show you slavery in the Bible, Hopefully that put a seed in your head and lets you know that this is real, what we're talking about. We're just not out here because we just got together in one week. No, we've been going through this for years of understanding and showing our people that we the real people of the book. That's what I'm trying to show you. There's a lot of stuff in the Bible, though, you know, like, right. you know, a lot of Right. Uh, weird shit. Yeah, I know about that, but check this out. We're talking Jesus Christ. That's what we're showing you, right? We, I want you to listen to this, right? Because this is what God said is going to happen to our people and how he was going to get lied to, real. Yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh -huh. You know, for he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. It said that he that cometh is going to come. It's the person going to come and preach another Jesus. This so called white image. All right? All right? This is Caesar Boys here. That's not the true image of Christ. Right? Read. For he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Uh huh. Who we have not preached. Because the real prophets never taught that Jesus Christ was this so-called white man, right? right? Do you know what real the real Jesus looked like? You know what was described in the Bible? That's what, olive skin. No, I don't say nothing about olive skin. Get that Revelation 1 and 14. That's that's another myth that you heard. And I heard stuff like that too. He got olive skin. But that's not in the Bible. So now we're getting you back connected with the Bible and what happened to us as a people. Because out of skin, that's nowhere in the Bible. Let's find out what Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, looks like. Right, right, right. Right. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Start at verse know. 1. Verse 1. And the revelation means the revealing. Something has to be revealed to our people in the last days. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It's the revealing of Jesus Christ. Start from verse 13. Come on. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one, like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man, the Son of God. Understand that. Read. Whoa! With a garment down to the foot. So and he had a garment on. This is Jesus Christ. He had a garment on. We usually wear garments too, but Christ had a garment on. That was the part of our hair. We wore garments, all right? Like warlike garments. We were men of war. Read on. It girt about the pets with a golden girdle. So he had like a golden girdle on. We wore real gold. Read. His head and his hairs were white 
like wool. It says his head and his hair. What kind of grow your hair like that? It says wool. Like a sheep. You ever seen a sheep? He got woolly hair. So now that eliminating this image right there, right? So he said, now nah, he got that. It says he got wool hair. Who got wool hair on the earth? Out of the people, out of the nations of the people who got woolly hair. No, the white people ain't got woolly hair. They got dog skin, skin, freaky hair. We got the woolly hair. See this wool? This the wool hair. All right? What, what, what you hear the rest of this? Watch this. Read. And his head is hair. Well, white like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. So, like, when we get old, what color does our hair turn? Gray. Gray, like, right, right. it says gray and white, right? right, right. So, you got woolly hair that was gray. Right. That was white like it was wool. Remember that. Read. In his eyes was a flame of fire. Because his eyes was red, flame of fire. Because when we drink wine, what color does our turn? He turned red, right? You follow me, right? Keep listening. Huh? Now let's find out. He was already. Now I want you to listen to this part, right? Read. And his feet like a two fine brass. So what color is brass? Brass is kind of brown. Kind of brown, right? It says it was it was it was kind of brown. Now let's find out how brown it was, Stevie. Listen to this. Come on. As if they burn. They what? They burn. They what? They burn. As if they burn. Read on. In a furnace. It was crazy. It was so dark. It looked like his feet was burned in a furnace. That's, That's right. right. That's how right. you know. Now, now, now I want you to look at these two signs, and I want you to point out the one that looks more like Christ. After reading that scripture, point it, point to the one right now. The one on the right, right? Now we're not saying that simple. We're saying he'll look more like that if he walked the earth. Now why aren't they teaching us that? That's what you should be asking me right now. Right? I figured they're teaching us that. Give me Hebrews 7 and 14. Now I'm gonna show you some more. I'm gonna show you some more because if Christ looked like that, what do you think his people look like? Right. It's all science behind this shit. Man. Right, we're gonna keep showing. We're gonna show you, but it's, it's about prophecy, all right? Read this. Come on. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. No. For it is evident. You say you're from the tribe of Judah, right? Right. It is evident. Come on. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of where? Out of Judah. Out of Judah. The black Messiah came out of the tribe of Judah. Right. Give me Jeremiah 14 and uh 14 and 2. Let's get some more of this. We're gonna show you what the real Jews are like, brother, because you think the people over there living in Israel is the real Jews? Of course, not. of course not, right? So that's another thing they've been lying to us about. So stuff gotta start, you got a question starting to start popping up in your head. Man, they lied to me about Jesus Christ, they lied to me about the real Jews, Everything. they lied to us about how we got over here. Stuff to start to start clicking in your head, you know what I'm saying? Allegiance. Right. Pledge allegiance, them all lies, bro. Listen to this. Come on. Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Real. Judah morning. The real Judah is morning. If you think about our leader, we, we, we crying out. Our people crying out because we got no answers. We got no real leaders out here. Think about the people that speak for us. Al Sharpton, Reggie Jackson, all these different names. They got, they got uh, comedians speaking out for us. None of them are real leaders. You know what I'm saying? They get their money, get their check, next thing you know they got with the white woman. Them not real leaders. That's right. We're in mourning, right? Yeah. Listen to this. Oh, listen to this. Freddie Thomas, listen to this though. Read on. Judah Morris. Uh -huh. In the gangster of language. Read on. They are black. What color are they? They are black. What color are the real Jews? They are black. Read on. Unto the ground. They said the real Jews are black unto the ground. Right? So let's find out what it happened to the real Jews. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Let's find out what happened to the real Jews. Moses gave us property. He said, he said, look, if y'all don't listen, God told him, he said, look, give them the commandments. If they don't listen, y'all going into slavery. And y'all going to be under your oppressors, and we're going to be at the bottom of society. Now our woman is against us. Uh, the white man is against us. Everybody's against the so-called black man, right? Do you know that was prophecy that was going to happen? Against each other. We're against each other. So what's going to bring us all together? The laws of God, brother. Yeah, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Read this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we didn't want to listen to the Bible and the commandments that God said, He said, if you didn't want to hearken unto the voice of God, this Bible, read. But if thou. If but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So his commandments. All his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee 
and overtake thee. God said, since you didn't want to listen, all these curses going to come upon you and overtake you. That's right. You know, what is a curse? You think that's something good? That's something bad, right? God said some curses are going to come upon the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now, when you think of those people, you not think of the them whites. in the hood, right? Why not the whites? Right. And I'm going to show you why not the whites. But well, first of all, we got to talk about our people. Right. We ain't out here for the whites. We are here for the people on this side yes, right here, right. brother. Right. The chosen people of God. Right. They wasn't chosen. We great. We just don't know it, bro. Right. That's why we hate each other. That's why we kill each other. Right. That's why we think this so-called white man is Jesus the Christ. Right. But he not. Free. No. Curse shall thou be in the city. What do you think of us? Do you think us being above all people as a nation in the city? Think about the city, bro. Where we at? Like on the blocks, killing each other. Every other week, you got a murder. We're still above everybody else. We understand that, brother. But as a nation right now, you look at it. Think about it. Who own these stores right here, right? Who own these stores right here? Yo, A, yo, a Rab. You got the Japanese coming and getting nail shops, right? We don't own these stores. That's in the prop side. That's what I'm trying to show you. But God says first, the curses. You're going to know the curses are upon our people only. And I'm going to show you that. First, the first curse says you're going to be cursed in the city. Who getting killed and who in gangs? Who's in jail? Who overpopulate the jail? Right? Yeah, so I'm showing you that our people is getting punished the most. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you, the, give me uh, Amos 3. Hold that, give me Amos 3 and 3. I'm going to show you that that was in the Bible too. That our people is going to get punished because God only deals with us. God only deals with the children of Israel. And I'm going to show you that in the Bible because I didn't believe this in there. I was in a Christian church for far too long. And I was deceived. So somebody showed me, look, the real Jews black. Y'all those people, man. But y'all forgot. Read that. What's, what's your question? You got a question? Well, uh, like the kind of church, like we are Methodist. No, we, we, we not. That's a, no, bro, about denomination. God never gave us, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 44. God never gave us Pentecostal, seven day Adventist, uh, give me some more, ba Baptist, uh, Orthodox, uh, seven day religion. God never gave us that. Let me show you what God gave us. Listen to this, uh, Stephen. Listen to this. I'm about to show you. Listen to this. This is what we believe in. I'm going to give you what thus saith the Lord. That's right, That's right. I can't give you my word, bro. That's what the Christian pastor going to do in the church. I got to give you what the Lord says. Read on. Right, chapter 4, verse 44. Uh -huh. And this is the law. Uh, the what? The law. Of Christianity. The law. Pentecostal. The law. Baptist. The law. Seventh-day Adventist. The law. Read on. Which Moses set before the children of Israel. God said that's the law that he gave us. He never gave us the Christianity church. That's what we're trying to tell you, bro. We're the greatest people on earth, but we have forgot it. So we're trying to get us back to that lower state. But it starts with us. First of all, we got to know who we are. That's right. That's the first thing I showed you. I said, who is you in that side right there, right? So now we got to come together under one agreement. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I see, we deliver the truth.